Hey everybody, welcome back. Chad again, Patriot Astro here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about yet another plugin for Nina. Nina's core development and plugin development is accelerating. The things we can do today are absolutely amazing, and these plugins are opening the doors to possibilities we hadn't even considered just a few months ago. Remember, all of these plugins are in early development. So make sure you keep Nina up to date as well as the plugins and understand you might be running some beta code, especially as it relates to the plugin. Some of these things are just side projects for developers that happen to be astrophotographers. The plugin I wanna to talk to you about today is Lightbucket. By enabling the Lightbucket plugin, what Nina will do as you're imaging targets throughout the evening, will send thumbnail updates to the Lightbucket webpage. This plugin gives you a very easy way to track progress on your imaging sessions and targets. You wanna know how many images you took with each filter? It's right there at your fingertips. Currently, it tracks different types of information like the date, the time, the position in the sky, as well as the number of images you're taking with each filter. Once a target's completed, you can go into the Light Bucket webpage and add the updated final image. From my personal conversations with the developer, I can tell you I expect the service to grow, I expect the metadata that it can gather to grow, and I expect this to be a very popular plugin. Let's take a look. Now, Lightbucket is pretty easy to set up. Uh, when it's configured, you're gonna go in and enable this, and if I go into the installed plugin itself, you'll see that, and I'll have to gray this out, but you'll see that I've got it enabled in this particular instance of Nina in this profile. I've got a username, an API key, and this is something that once you've set it up in one instance, you can copy these parameters and actually share it so you can use the same account over and over if you've got multiple rigs that you run with Nina. So this gets really interesting because if I go to app.lightbucket.co, this allows you to track some of the information about your imaging session. So we can see what other people are doing here. But if I go ahead and log in, and this is going to use a Discord um, authentication mechanism. So if you don't have Discord, just go sign up for Discord. I'm going to do another video on Discord at some point showing you how and why with astrophotography you may want to use Discord. There's some really good resources there. So I'm going to go sign in with Discord. And once I'm signed in, you can see here I am, Patriot Astro. And these are um, sessions that are going on this evening. But if I click on my name, what I can actually do is see there's a number of sessions and number of images that have been tracked. And it'll show you the last image that's taken. So let's go and look at Pleiades as an example. So I've actually had two different sessions with Pleiades. I can see that these two particular sessions were on different dates and I can see the tracking, right? So I was doing LRGB, um, but this allows me to track the number of frames um, and the durations that I use for these images. At some point, I can actually upload images, uh, the final images, and add details as well. The other thing that's nice about this is I clicked from within Nina to get to this app, but you can actually go to app.lightbucket.co, log in, and get to this information from anywhere. So if you have an active session or you wanna check it the next day, I don't have to have Nina running. I can actually just go to the app and use it to monitor my active session. I can see the last image that was taken. So again, if I wanna track this session tonight, um, as my next frame rolls in, which I believe is an HA frame, I can actually see that. So we can see how far off we are in HA. Um, and actually the HA frame may have actually completed. So this is my HA frame. So I can see the HA frame just completed. And if I wanna come back, and we can see now I've got an HA frame and I've got an O3 frame. And again, it's just gonna track this data. Now this from talking to uh, the developer whose name I'll put on screen right now, uh, there were some pretty cool plans about other metadata that we can pull in. We can see there's new features being developed all the time as, as well as the ability to like merge targets if you've got different name targets and you wanna merge them into one. Um, so there's a lot of different things coming. And if you've got ideas, again, another reason to get on Discord to connect with the developers of these tools and plugins so that you can give them ideas and, and give them reasons of why they should be doing certain things that may help you and other astrophotographers in this hobby of ours. Uh, but this is really, really handy and it's just something I wanna share with you. There's there's nothing you need to do, nothing in your sequence. Just go add the plugin, sign up for the free account, and just enable it in Nina, and it will just start to track this data without you doing anything. So again, pretty handy. It's a really interesting way to go back and see information about previous targets in your history. And just another plugin that I think everyone can benefit from. 
Well, hopefully you found Light Bucket to be interesting. It's something you may want to add to start tracking your sessions. Hopefully this gets you excited about moving to 1.11 if you're not there yet. Between the advanced sequencer and plugins, if you're not there, you're missing out. There's a lot of capability, a lot of functionality, a lot of error detection and correction, and just some better imaging overall. If you have questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. Go to my webpage, go to Instagram, find me any way you can. I'm always glad to help as soon as I possibly can. As always, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this with others. And of course, clear skies.